Hello everyone. I'm here to talk about the development of what's been described as the most significant technological invention of the last 200 years, the bicycle. Many people think 15th century Italian artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci was the first to come up with the concept of a bicycle, but he was unable to construct anything from his design. A French designer built the first machine that could be said to resemble a bicycle in 1790. Its two wheels were attached to a long, four-piece wooden body, which resembled the form of a crocodile, in contrast to modern diamond-shaped bike frames. Having no pedals or means of steering, it was considered more a child's toy than a method of transport. Steering was added by German inventor Karl Dreis in 1817. Similar in style to the French machine, the rider would sit on the wooden frame and push themselves along the ground using their feet, as it still lacked pedals. These were added 20 years later by a Scottish man, Kirkpatrick Macmillan, whose invention looked relatively similar to the bikes of today. The first mass-produced bicycle was developed in 1863 by French father and son Pierre and Ernest Michaud. Called the Velocipede, even its wheels were made from wood. These were specially built to fit on train tracks, although it's not known how often Velocipedes were used in this way. The wooden wheels, however, made for an extremely uncomfortable ride on the uneven stone streets of this period, and the bicycle soon earned the nickname the Bone Shaker. In 1879, chains were introduced as a way of powering the wheels. This allowed the rider to sit in the centre of the frame, rather than over one wheel, increasing the stability of the bicycle. Some machines had three wheels, rather like the tricycles used by children today, to accommodate the growing number of women who wanted a cycle, but whose long dresses made the two-wheeled version virtually impossible to ride. In the late 19th century, in an effort to improve bicycle safety, John Dunlop developed rubber tyres that could be filled with air. This added to the comfort of bicycles, and their popularity began to grow. From the 1930s, the addition of gears to bicycles enabled even easier cycling, especially in hilly locations, turning the bicycle into perhaps the most widespread means of getting around worldwide. Does anyone have any questions?